not happen unboxing of legendary proportion. That's right, I finally got the Super 7 Godzilla Minus One figure in. I pre-ordered this thing in January. Shout out to the girlfriend, Lady Dears. It was a birthday present and I didn't know how long it was gonna take to ship, but uh, almost eight months later, we got the shipping information that it was shipping and that day it actually arrived. So I wanted to hold on to this. I got this yesterday, but I wanted to do an unboxing and show it off. I don't normally unbox figures, but man, I was super, super excited for this. So don't worry at the end, once I get this out, we're gonna take an up close look at all the articulation and uh, my thoughts, first impressions and all that. So uh, if you're new here, make sure you hit like, subscribe and uh, do all that kind of fun stuff. So I have seen the movie. I have seen every single version of it. The white and black, the dubbed, uh, I actually seen it in movies as well, like opening up again. So let's see how this is going to Again, huge, huge, huge kind of fan. And when we break it down, I have some other Godzilla figures that I'm going to bring down from upstairs and we're going to compare the sizes and everything. So cool little box. Let's get that out of the way. Down in the links below, uh, like I said, I got this pre-ordered and I should have done these uh, things. Uh, it's got a bunch of twist ties. So we're going to cut the video one second and then we're going to take these All right, We finally got this dude out of the box and I was playing around with him a little bit just to kind of test things out and see how things were. But uh, first impressions are great. Like I said, at the end I'm going to clip it together and we're going to zoom in and check him out a little bit closer. But he is definitely a thick meaty boy, I will say that. He's got those thick thighs, safe lives kind of vibes. And uh, I am uh, kind of underwhelmed by his size, just the size. I think he's eight, eight inches. So I do believe he is roughly, yep, roughly just about eight inches uh, tall. And then I want to see how long he is. But the tail is the kind of only, my only complaint. Uh, paint application looks great. We'll get into more details when we zoom in closer. But I had to actually take a blow dryer, kind of heat up the joints a little bit to get this tail to kind of do what it wants to do. And even now, be careful because these spikes are really, really sharp. But uh, yeah, this tail, I wish it was a different, it's just kind of, uh, as you see, a ball joint right there. And you just kind of got that hole to fill. So uh, let me get this baby back in here. But once it's in, it stays in really nice. But it's just a pain in the butt to actually get her in there. So that would be, like I said, I haven't had a Super 7 figure in years, but uh, once he's in, it's even then it, it's a snap back out, there it goes. Cool, so let's see, how long is he from, I'd say toe, like toenail to hip? Uh, almost a foot, just under, like, like, yeah, just, uh, just over, yeah, now that it's in it, like, like 12 and a half inches, so just over a foot, actually. So that's actually wild. So that's really, really long. So like I said, zoom, see him right there. He looks awesome. He does come with, uh, I'm not gonna focus, we'll see it over there. But uh, he does come with an extra head. And the one thing I didn't know is his mouth doesn't move. So that was the one thing I was kind of uh, disappointed in, but he does have a lot of articulation. But as for size and scale, I think he looks absolutely dope. I'm very pleased with him. And again, like I said, I'm gonna sit him right here. You probably can't see it. Let's see. Set him on the box or scale. So that's how big he is, you know, compared to my head and everything. But let's uh, break it down. We'll get over to the other table, and I want to take a closer look at this guy. We can really check him out in detail. So just give me one second. All right. Now we're going to break this down and take a little bit of a closer look. And like I said, as you can see here, here's the extra head he comes with. Great, great paint detail. Great paint application. I looked over all the details, no miss spots. But this is like the extra head with the mouth open version. I wish it would just, uh, you know, open and close these heads like natural. But here you can see the full size of him. I brought out, this is from the Kong X uh, collection and whatever. So you can see the size comparisons of them. But even with the older figs, this one was from like 98 or like 99. But this is like a little guy. So he's huge compared to them. So I really, really like the size comparison or whatever. And even compared to like a Marvel Legend, definitely towers over them so you can see I just try to pick him up by the tail and it just pops off so that's like my biggest complaint with him is the tail and the uh, like the holdering but once he's on the shelf he sits really nice and you got to definitely have space for this big boy but again he's not something I'm gonna be playing around with too much or uh, getting to up and down on the shelf but again as you can see here the paint application is awesome I love the details from it I love like the battle damage look and everything on him because uh, he was definitely getting beat up in that film. I wish there would have been more like blood and uh, you know, like 
uh, pieces missing from him because in the movie he was definitely getting like I said tore up from some of those machine guns and everything he had like the regenerative abilities but I do like it's not like just the plain like charcoal gray and everything so the spikes look really good and then uh again let me just pop this tail back on because uh at this point he is uh I do highly recommend him but uh again I'm just a noob and I'm not familiar with the tail joints too bad but like I said once it's on it stays on really good you have the tail can move up and down on the points and then there's a middle point right here and then again here I'll just uh, pop this off to make everything easier so you have this point and then you have one in the middle and then you have one at the very very end so it kind of breaks down into three things and then his arms move up and down and then his he kind of can extend like that and then you know he's got full rotation of his wrist I like his head his head can move up and down see it pops on and off real easy let's just put this other on other one on real quick but uh, I like that the head pops on and off, pops right back on, and then his neck can uh, move up and down, so you have a lot of uh, motion and range with that. But then his body, you know, he's got twisting articulation with them, and then uh, the legs as well are nice and uh, movable. So yeah, like I said, I do recommend it. You can still get this guy from, links down in the description, from Big Bag Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. But man, I just, I need to maybe blow up <laughs> blow dry that more loosen it up but once it gets kind of loosened up and fit it in i think this guy will be absolutely awesome on the shelf i can't wait to have him i'm definitely going to have him displayed with my godzilla so at the end i will kind of flash some pictures with him and some poses with my godzilla comic but other than that let me know what you guys thought of this hopefully you guys got one i know i've been waiting a long 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 time for this i am an absolute noob when it comes to action figure reviews but i just wanted to get this out there get this out to the viewers and if you are interested in it like i said the details are down in the description below for the links and uh yeah i do recommend it just uh that tail man she's a little tricky so i hope you have a good week stay tuned for more like share subscribe if you're new and uh at the end of the day stay legendary and i hope you guys find what you're looking for enjoy the little clip show have a great day Thank you.